Mrs. Allen, the Board of Trustees, Mr. Taylor, faculty, parents, friends, and especially the class of 2019, it is my honor to address you on this day of our graduation. At graduation, we walk. At commencement, we start. Anyone who took Mr. Tiefer's English class this year understands the very roots of these words. Graduation, grad, means to step, literally to walk. Through, through our whole high school career, we believe that graduation is the end, but none of what is being described today is about an ending. In fact, they only talk about starting. Commencement, this is one strange word. We celebrate like it's the end of something when really the direct definition is the beginning or start of something. The start. Aren't we graduating today? I know you guys are asking, what are we starting? The answer is this. We are involved in a thing that will commence and it will start. From here, we're starting to take our first steps to shaping our world's next generation. And it begins right now. At the beginning of the year, I gave a chapel talk, and at the time I admitted that I've been getting most things wrong ever since my arrival at TP. I said, too many times I've felt down when I should have felt up. I've turned left instead of right. I've said maybe when I should have answered yes, or yes when I should have answered maybe. Come to think of it, there's so few things that I've gotten right. For these past three years, for 36 months, 156 weeks, 1,095 days, 26,280 hours, 1,576,800 million seconds, and 94,608,000 seconds and counting, I've been assuming that eventually I'd get things right. What I had not known until today is that getting it right was never what was expected of me or really any of us. No one imagined that we would have things figured out by graduation. If you ask any faculty member here at Trinity Pauling, they'll all tell you that what they expected. That on graduation day, we would not be ready to finish, we would be ready to start. But what are we starting? The school teaches us to be noble, that we're ready to do that. The school teaches us to be true and just, and we're ready to take on that challenge. The school teaches us to be honorable, to value brotherhood, and today we accept that responsibility. This school has taught us that we are capable of these things, that we are worthy of these things, and today, as we cross this stage, we do so in preparation for the opportunity to prove them right. In the course of a Trinity Pauling career, in the course of our senior year, we all have created a story. And any good storyteller will confess that a good story does not go in a straight line. It travels in a circle. <coughs> Everyone who grows up playing a sport knows what it's like being a little kid playing on the big kid's team. This goes for everyone. You watch from the bench as others take the ice, make the pass, score the goal. You watch. The thing that allows us to be patient, even as a little kid on a big kid's team, is knowing that one day, you'll be the one on the ice. You'll be the one leading the team. You'll be the one scoring the goal. You'll be the one accepting the lead role. You'll be the one leading the stage. Sometimes, careers don't run in a straight line they sometimes go in a circle as well. For the senior who thought he would spend every minute of every shift in the middle of the action, spent the entire season on the end of the bench. Now the end of the bench is where you can make a lot of decisions. Do I still like this? Is it still worth it? Does it still feel like my future? We have all sat on our own bench. We've all been there. It's only after we circle back that we learn whether our direction is a good one. It always has been and whether our passion will continue to be our future. It will. Any good storyteller will confess that a good story travels in a circle. Therefore, I end my senior year, I end my story by returning to the beginning when I hoped I would do okay, when I hoped I would make friends, when I hoped I would score a goal, when I hoped I would get decent grades, when I hoped I would be chosen to lead. I'm grateful to have been able to do all of these things at least to some degree. As this chapter of my life closes, the school tells me it's time to stop. I won't be able to make the announcements in school meeting, that I won't get to take the ice with my teammates wearing the blue and gold, that I won't get
get to be the voice who says seniors at the end of chapel. These are only a few of the things I've had the honor to do here at Trinity Pauling. But now, the school has prepared us to face a world much larger than ours here today. I imagine my life would be a straight line at TP. I learned that my life is, has, and will always be a circle. Nothing ends today. It only begins. Congratulations to the class of 2019, and I look forward to seeing you all again when our lives circle back to Trinity Pauling School.